Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about a topic that is taking the fitness industry by storm and is absolutely insane. This compound that we're about to talk about is called Reditrutide. So you've probably heard of Ozempic, you've probably heard of Manjaro, but Reditrutide is on a whole nother level. And today we're going to be talking about who is taking this, as in the fitness influencers, fitness models, and celebrities, why they're taking it, how it works, and everything in between, okay? And it's basically the cure to obesity and the cure to cheating on your diet and struggling on a cut and losing body fat, okay? So this is a very interesting compound. Now, I actually have used this compound before, okay? I've used it for a total of three weeks and then I came off of it just to see what would happen and then I ran it for another two weeks. I'm currently on it. I'm on my second week on it after I took a break. So in total, it was about five weeks, and now I have a big supply I stocked up because, guys, this stuff sells out fast. I was like checking all the sites that it was on, and I couldn't find it anywhere. Luckily, I found a reliable source, but full disclosure, guys, this is not medical advice. Anything you see from this video is purely for informational and entertainment purposes only and just, you know, for your own curiosity. Now that that's out of the way, let's get right into it. So like I said, this is the evolution of new fat loss drugs. We've heard of Ozempic, like the Kardashians are taking it, they're losing a shit ton of weight. Then Manjaro is said to be better than Ozempic. And like I said, Reditrutide is better than all three because it has three mechanisms at play. Reditrutide blows Ozempic and Manjaro out of the water, especially when it comes to muscle retention and when it comes to performance in the gym as well, guys. But how does this stuff all work? Let's talk about, okay, Ozempic is a GL GLP-1 agonist. They bind and activate to the GLP-1 receptor. Then when we look at Manjaro or Trizepatide, that's a dual agonist. It's a GLP-1 and GIP. Reditrutide is a triple receptor. So you have the GLP-1, the GIP, plus glucagon. Ozempic is one key, Manjaro is two keys, and Reditrutide is all the key. So GLP-1 signals to your brain that it's full. It blunts your appetite, stabilizes blood sugar, and it slows down your gastric emptying so your food sits in your stomach long. So if you have a big meal, it's gonna be sitting in your tummy for a while. GIP targets your pancreas and your muscles, and it improves your insulin sensitivity. Now with Reditrutide's glucagon, and like I said, it has the prior two aforementioned features, it signals to your liver to release glycogen when your blood sugar is low. It starts tapping into liver fat stores, which is actually a game changer when it comes to reversing non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and it mobilizes your fat throughout your body putting you in like a nice constant sort of fat burning mode all right so here's where it gets insane when you compare the fat loss of all these things and we talked about how powerful ozempic is in the past and some of the shorts i've made and you know all the high profile celebrities are taking ozempic right this is like a year ago at this point it does not stack up to red to true tide okay so on average people who used ozempic lost 10 to 15 percent of their weight per year when it came to manjaro they'd lose somewhere between you know 15 to 20 percent and that's in a year as well when it comes to reddit true tide okay you're losing 24 percent of your total body weight in 48 weeks not it not a year so you're losing significantly more fat and less time so if you're 250 pounds you're gonna lose 60 pounds in a year now we have some transformations of people who were using reddit true tide <laughs> Okay, so this guy is called Androgenic. Okay, so that's obviously a huge difference. You could just see the shreds here. Um, obviously, looks like he lost at least, you know, I would say 20 to 30 pounds here. Um, you can see the veins coming out. He's got some veins in his abs even. It's got a really solid uh, taper and a lot of people are using Reddit True Tide because they want to have a similar transformation. OK, um, here to here. OK, boom. We really notice in the face, guys. That's one thing I will say. Um, if you're trying to look max, get more handsome. OK, Reddit True Tide should be considered, obviously. Um, this is Alex Eubanks before and after Alex's physique before. And Alex Eubank is not someone who ever gets you know fat his brand is kind of just being lean um we all know that's why he hopped on trt so he could be a lower body fat um and not feel like a piece of shit right so he did that okay 
Um, but he also hopped on Reddit True Thought. So a lot of people are wondering, why are all these influencers taking Reddit True Thought? So this is how he looks here. This is a video from six months ago I got. And like you can see, like, yeah, he's not flex, but this is good lighting. Don't don't deny, guys. This is good lighting. You're gonna, you guys are going to say, oh, this is bad lighting. It's perfect down lighting. You can see the veins. You can see the vascularity. He's not super washed out. We have some shadows. And then um, I think this is him currently this is a lot better lighting even than before but guys like he's clearly leaner and he's just looking absolutely nuts here okay this is not a muscle gain transformation he didn't hop on trend you know he looks roughly about the same muscularity but a lot leaner guys okay and we can see it in the arms we can see it in the uh, abs and it looks like he got a tan as well. So, guys, if you want to definitely improve your uh, physique without gaining any muscle, guys, getting a tan, right? That's why being black so overpowered because they just got a, a genetic tan, you know what I'm saying? This is Chris from the Trend Twins. I actually forgot to get a before picture because I'm an idiot. This is like two weeks ago. He's been on Reddit True Tide, guys. And um, he's looking quite, quite good, if I do say. Let's check this out. This is me on some Reddit True Tide. Reddit True Tide, in my experience, guys, is I, I noticed I was not hungry. I didn't. I noticed I did not have a huge amount of sugar cravings. Um, I actually noticed, and we'll talk about this in a bit. I didn't really want to look at any corn, as it were. And a lot of people are finding that they're using Reddit True Tide to beat their addictions, right? Because with these, um, this triple action um, agonist here with Reddit True Tide, you know, we're we're using this, and we're a lot more resilient to our urges, right? So we're not giving into the food cravings, and just vis-a-vis -vis that. You know, because we have this in our stack, we're not going to be watching porn or drinking as much. It's just not really a need. You know, you don't feel like you need that stuff. So here's a nice excerpt on overcoming addiction uh, with Reddit True Tide. I got this from Vigorous Steve. And if you guys don't know Vigorous Steve, he's an excellent influencer. Scotch and Scarf. You know, it's funny if you go to high dose Reddit True Tide, you don't want any of that. All these guys are overcoming their addiction and their vices by just going on like five milligrams of Reddit True Tide. Yeah, they just they don't want to drink, they don't want to smoke weed, they don't want to do anything. It helps you overcome addictions like that or vices. It's, it's quite strong. So obviously this stuff is super powerful and a lot of people are using it. Um, I'm seeing so many people, they're kind of just being a bit biased though. Like I don't really like that. They're just saying, oh, you know, it's so great. I'm losing so much fat. I look a lot better. And maybe they really feel that way because, okay, I had this goal and I wasn't able to achieve it as far as my body fat. And now I'm just going to like make some shit up, get like a viral video or something like that. It's not really the goal with this video, guys. I'm just trying to be transparent. And I did notice some annoying things with it. So Firstly, I was getting some acid reflux, guys. And if you've ever been on oral steroids before, such as Winstrol, um, you might have gotten some acid reflux. And that's just not something I really like. I'm not sure why it does that. I would assume it has something to do with the food sitting in your stomach longer. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. You can mitigate that by taking like some Tums or something like that. Now in the scientific literature, it does specifically state that Reddit True Tide can increase your resting heart rate by 10 beats per minute on average, which is not really that bad. If anything, you can see it as a positive, but I really think that it's not a big deal. You're obviously gonna have to monitor that if you have any heart problems whatsoever. I wouldn't just stay away from bread of true tide, I would stay away from PEDs in general. And that is just straight fact. Now, if you overshoot the dose that you are wanting to take, you're gonna have nausea, okay? You're gonna be like, why did I do this to myself? You're gonna be maybe not puking. I don't think you would throw up or anything like that. One time I accidentally took too much and I was feeling quite nauseous, so. Um, yeah, if you overshoot your dose, you know, you put the backwater in wrong, you can potentially get some annoying side effects like that. If you have any sort of eating disorder, I would definitely stay away from Reddit True Tide. Obviously, we know that there's all kinds of diseases and issues you can get as far as your health when it comes to just being freaking 
having an eating disorder in general so adding fuel to the fire is not a good idea other than that like look at the scientific literature for yourself on reddit true tide it's shockingly clean like shockingly now as far as a protocol and dosing strategy i was really of the impression that you know to start off go 0.5 milligrams usually these are sold in a uh, powder form with you know 5 10 or 20 milligram you know obviously you have to adjust your back water accordingly but you know even if you get a 10 milligram vial five is not great but let's say you get a 10 milligram vial that's plenty it, uh, especially if you're a beginner i would only start out with 0.5 milligrams okay you might be thinking oh that's way too small of a dose no this stuff is freaking strong you can go up to maximum one milligram in the first two weeks but i would not push it any further than that now the thing is your body will adjust to this stuff over time right so if you're starting with 0.5 milligrams let's say in four weeks you're probably going to want to go up to one to two so every four weeks i would adjust the dose until you reach roughly four milligrams per week okay that's like the maximum i would go i've heard of people doing more i've heard of people doing you know eight 12 20 milligrams of reddit true tide per week that is not necessary guys i'd even say four is overkill like you only want to adjust your dose when you feel like the reddit true tide isn't as effective and it will always be effective guys even at 0.5 milligrams but obviously your body does adjust to a sweet spot i would say would be two milligrams try not to exceed that uh tops four because you know everyone's body is uh, built differently but if you exceed four like you don't really need to do that unless you have some sort of other goal other than like burning fat you maybe you want it because you've heard of like the benefits it has to your lipid profile and things of that nature um but yeah i would really just go 0.5 to start after four weeks up to one after four weeks up to like 1.5 after four weeks up to two if you need to with that being said, guys, don't copy someone else's protocol. You kind of need to see for yourself. The tolerance and side effects are extremely individual. If you want more information on Reddit True Tide, where to go for a doctor's consultation for Reddit True Tide, you can check the first link in my description down below to check that out. It's in a Google Doc for you guys, so you can have that nice and set for you. Let me know if you guys want me to document my reddit true tide journey as far as the fat loss i've kind of been documenting i mean i take pictures of, my, of myself every day so i'll maybe do like a compilation i am cutting even more i'm trying to get to like maybe like two i want to say like 215 i'm 227 right now so if i could lose 12 more pounds i think i'd look very very cool and yeah appreciate you guys love you guys see you guys in the next one